The matchup between Barcelona and Ferran Varos doesn't appear to be much on the surface. Barca are the heavy favorites, and Frodi are a team that has not faced the Blagrana since 1977. But there is much more to this matchup when considering the history that ties the two clubs together. Barca don't have to make the trip to Budapest until December, when the two teams meet again in the Champions League. So we'll worry about the weather then. In the meantime, let's talk previous matchups between the two, players who have played for both Barcelona and Ferran Varos, and some of the current players that do give Ferran Varos just a little bit of a fighting chance. Hi, I'm Dan Hilton. This is a Barcelona Podcast YouTube exclusive. Ferran Varos was founded in 1899, the same year Juan Gamper founded FC Barcelona. Since then, Barca has had a bit more European success, though the Hungarian club does have an Intercities Fairs Cup to their name, beating Juventus to the trophy in 1965. The two have met six times in their history, five friendlies and once in a competition not many have heard of. The first two meetings were in March of 1923 with two wins for Barca, due largely to Ferran Varos missing their best players to international duty. Still, these do give me a chance to mention forward Clemente Garcia, who had a goal in both matches. They met again five years later on Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Fun fact, international friendlies were quite common on Christmas Day in the early parts of the 20th century. But back to it, Barca won the first fixture 4-0 and settled for a 3-3 draw the next day. This time around, Barca were finding their footing as an established club. The first Liga would begin in just two months, and Ferran Varos was a top side as well. Barca, though, had Hungarian Ferenc Platko in net and were the better side over the two days. The two didn't meet again until 1972, a 2-2 draw this time. This match was to honor the retiring Josep Maria Fuste after 17 years at the club. The final time they locked horns was not in a friendly per se, but the Trofeo Iberico in 1977, a tournament played in Badajoz, a Spanish city near the border of Portugal and Spain. Didn't think you'd learn some geography today, did you? In that match, it was a 2-0 win for the Catalans and a trophy for Venus Michaels and Johan Cruyff after they had lost the Liga to Atletico Madrid by just one point. Let's keep this little history lesson moving with the players that have played for both sides. Three in total. One player you won't know, one player you should know, and one player you will definitely know. We'll start with the one you don't know, Alamar Bukesi, who played for the club from 1934 to 1936. The midfielder made only 28 appearances for Barca, having played for Ferran Varos before moving to France to Racing Club Paris in the early days of Ligue 1, and then to Barca. He did return to Spain after his playing days, managing Real Zaragoza, Espanyol, and Sabadell all for one year, and then retiring to Barcelona to live a long and hearty life. Now for the one you should know, Zoltan Shibor, the terrorizing left winger who scored 25 goals in 76 appearances from 1958 to 1961. He was a star at Ferran Varos and truly became a superstar alongside a few other mighty majeurs at Honved, particularly future Barca teammate Sander Kosciuk, future Madrid rival Ferenc Puskas, and legendary Honved defensive midfielder and halfback Yusef Bozic. He won two La Ligas and an Intercities Fairs Cup in three years at the newly opened Camp Nou. Though without the guy you should know, there is no Zibor at Barca. He of course was asked to play for the club after fleeing Hungary by Lazo Kubala, who signed for Barcelona all the way back in 1950, though he was banned from playing until 1951. Prior to fleeing Hungary himself, Kubala had signed for Ferran Varos as an 18-year-old and teammates with Kosciuk for the first time then. He only stayed there for a year before bouncing around the region and eventually fled the country on the back of a truck in 1949. The man who pioneered curling the ball is obviously a legend for Barcelona. 219 appearances, 152 goals. Later, a manager for the club on two occasions, and a man that any modern Kule should get themselves acquainted with. For more on him and the Hungarians that played at Barca, check out our full podcast on Barca's Hungarian history down in the description. Okay, so for those doing their math at home, you probably realize that I may have got that number three wrong. This is being recorded after the fact because, yes, I did realize as I'm researching and finalizing this video that Sander Kosic was indeed a teammate of Kubala back in the 40s. However, Sander Kosic is much more famous for becoming a legend at Honved, where he scored over 176 goals in 160 appearances. For Ferran Varos from 46 to 50, it was merely 40 goals in 54 appearances. He then went on to play for Barcelona from 1958 to 1965. So this list is actually four players, with Sander Kosic being number four. All right, back to it. Because now it's time to visit the present. Ferran Varos may not have legends like Kubala or Zibor in the ranks anymore, but they did have enough to get past Dinamo Zagreb and Molb to reach the Champions League group stage, their first trip to the UCL group stage since 1995-96, when they shared a group with Real Madrid, Ajax, and Grasshoppers from Zurich. They are building something there though, having finished third of four in their Europa League group last season that included now relegated Espanyol. Always have to fit that in when we can. 
manager Sergei Rebrov may be known to Ukrainian Kules as he played for Tottenham in the early 2000s and featured for his home country of Ukraine at the 2006 World Cup. He spent the majority of his time as a player and manager at Dynamo Kiev, oddly enough another one of Barca's group stage opponents. While Rebrov does play a 4-2-3-1, against Barcelona you should expect a 5-4-1. Former Liverpool goalkeeper Adam Bogdan may have the most name recognition, but he has so far this season been backing up Hungarian national team number 2, Dénes de Bus. The side is captained by longtime Hungarian national teamer Gergo Levencic, a winger turned right back who will be dealing with Fanti and most likely Serginho Dest on his side of the field. The top scorer is Takmak Chol Gwen, who has 7 goals in 9 matches prior to the weekend, with a 26 year old forward playing most of his career in his native Norway before moving to Hungary in 2019. The man to watch is probably right winger Oleksandr Zubkov, the Ukrainian right winger that joined the side in July from Shakhtar Donetsk, but Sergi Roberto should win that matchup. Previewing Barca is a rather easy one as I've already given away the big wrinkle. If Ronald Koeman doesn't have a healthy Jordi Alba, and even if he does, maybe don't risk him against Ferran Varos with El Clasico the very next match. Junior Firpo, who was injured prior to the international break, could get the nod, but Des should be the early favorite to get the start. Remember, Des has already featured in the Champions League for Ajax, so a matchup with Ferran Varos, and no disrespect to the Hungarian side, is not the toughest European challenge he's faced in his young career. Other than that, we will get to see for maybe the first time this season, Barcelona tried to break down a side that are just looking to get a point out of the match and willing to put every player in a green and white shirt behind the ball. If Ferran Varos do find a way to find a result, you best believe we'll be talking about it here on the channel. So make sure you check back here after that match. And make sure you check out this week's podcast as we're going to be previewing El Clasico and preparing for what has become a pretty difficult stretch for the Blagrana. Also, a special thank you to friend of the pod Charlie Barca and his wife for help with these Hungarian pronunciations. And as always, until next time, Forza Barca!